you very much. Welcome to Farm Aid 5. Mr. Jerry Jones, and all the Dallas Cowboys, all the people of Irving, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, everybody who's worked so hard to make Farm Aid 5 the best ever. Mr. Jerry Jones, thank you very much. Come out and say hello to the folks. I want to thank you for being here today and uh, right here where the Cowboys battle it out. Let's win a big battle for the farmers of America right here today. All right, let's have a big time over here. Thank you very much, Jerry. Right now, I'd like to introduce a friend of mine who is a Baptist preacher from the town of Austin, Texas. He's one of those outlaw preachers that seem to get by, and we're proud to have him representing us today, and he wants to come out and say just a couple of words to you. Let me introduce my good friend, Reverend, Reverend Gerald Mann. Before we pray, Willie wanted me to speak about three minutes just to sort of set a spiritual or sacred tone for what we're doing here today. And I thought about that, and you know, America does three things better than any country in the history of the world. First thing we do best is make weapons of war. We are the most lethal killing machine in history. In fact, we've been so good at it that war has now become obsolete. Uh, to wage war on a grand scale is to commit suicide, which brings me to the second thing we do best. We grow food best. Yes, we do. We have the capacity to feed the whole world. The Bible says that a day will come in history when we will be able to use our weapons as plows, swords into plowshares be able to feed the world and make peace with food. Well, that day is here, yet the greatest friend the world has today, the farmer, he is the best friend we have, is an endangered species. He's almost extinct. While we've bailed out and propped up everybody else in American industry, we've almost let him wither away. Which brings me to this point. The farmer does what he does best and he gets penalized for it. Now the third thing we do best in the world, we give. For all of our faults, America is the most generous nation in the history of the world. And that brings us to today. You can give and make a difference, not only for yourself and for the farmer, but for the whole world. If enough people today decided that we were going to see to it that the farmer was rewarded for his labor in a just and fair way, then that new world order that all of these politicians are talking about would begin right here today. That's three minutes. Let's pray. Father, help us to help ourselves move us to be generous by helping those who put food on our table. Let this be the beginning of a new day of peace where we help people eat and have a decent place to live because of the greatness of the American heart. Let this day be a fun day. and Let it be something good for our land. Amen. Thank you, Willie.